my name is Tim and I am back in the test kitchen here at Pampered Chef. You know, the reason that restaurants can charge $25, $35 for an entree isn't always because they're flying in some exotic ingredient from across the world. It's because the cooks there know the techniques and have the skills that they can use to develop beautiful flavors in the dishes that they're making. These aren't tricks, they're not secrets, and they're not hacks. They're just techniques that when applied, you can draw out beautiful flavor in every single dish that you make. So I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful restaurant quality dish using simple ingredients and three easy to learn techniques. They're the three core techniques to building flavor, sweating, sauteing, and simmering. These are like the three S's of building flavor. So this recipe is really a take on a recipe that we have on our website called Pasta Romano, which is inspired by all those great Roman dishes like cacio e pepe or carbonara. And the bacon here is really intended to just be a flavor to the dish, not the main ingredient. But it's smoky, it's savory, and it's gonna be a great way to season this dish. So in this recipe, I'm gonna use some crushed red pepper. And this is an easy win for any meal. If you're using some spices in your dish, toast them ahead of time. That's going to extract some of that aroma and really make it so much more flavorful. It takes like 10 seconds. You just need to do it long enough so that you can smell the spices from where you're standing. At this point is when I'm gonna start sweating my onions. Like I said before, it's a low heat cooking method and really the goal is just to extract some of that water from the onions and soften them while you cook them. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the onions because that salt is gonna help bring out the moisture. It's one of those active ingredients in a recipe that does more than just season it. It really changes the vegetables themselves. Sweating is a low heat cooking method which is why it's so important to have a quality pan. This is our 12 inch nonstick aluminum pan. It's made from a die cast aluminum and it's machined to have a truly flat bottom, which is really important whenever you're trying to control temperature, especially if you have an electric stove where the stove turns on, it turns off, it turns on, it turns off. It's so great that the aluminum is great to maintaining and controlling that heat. So that way you're not burning the onions one second and then not cooking them at all the next second. Like I said before, sweating is gonna take a, a little bit more time. We're gonna do this for about 10 minutes. What I'm trying to do is to soften these vegetables, not creating any color. You're gonna choose to sweat your vegetables when you want everything in the dish to taste like the onions and the garlic. You don't wanna have one bite and think, oh, that is an onion. So sweat it down, cook it for a little bit, so that whenever you're adding everything together, the whole dish tastes like one cohesive flavor. So while this is happening, I can prep all my other vegetables. I've got Parmesan to grate, I've got broccoli to slice. I've got plenty to do while this cooks down. Okay, so our onions have sweated down for about 10 minutes. Uh, I added a little bit of garlic about two minutes before the onions were done because they just, they don't take much time. Now I'm gonna turn up the heat, like medium, medium high, and I'm gonna add this broccoli to saute it. Now, like I said, this is based on the pasta romano. You can use any vegetable that you'd like. I love sauteing something like red or green bell peppers, you can do asparagus. The goal is to choose a vegetable that you really want to keep crisp and tender. So you're gonna just keep this moving and going quickly. That heat will turn up, the broccoli will cook, it'll get brighter green. It's really going to be beautiful. Like I said when I was talking about you know sweating, sauteing is different because you want that bite of broccoli, you want that bite of bell pepper, you want things to taste a little bit differently, that hit of flavor. So those are the things that you're gonna saute. Okay, so this is only gonna take about five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. 
I'm going to cook the pasta with about two tablespoons of salt because this is one of the only chances I get to season the pasta itself. On top of that, I'm only going to cook the pasta for about a minute less than the instructions on the box say. I want it just before done because I'm gonna finish cooking it in the sauce that I'm creating here. So the pasta is done cooking and the broccoli is just crisp but tender. You can still have a little bit of bite to it. I've, because I've turned up the heat when I'm sauteing it, the onions and the garlic have kind of caramelized a little bit which will add a sweetness to it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the pasta right to this pan with the broccoli and the onions and the garlic. You can hear it sizzle and cook and stir. So I'm going to bring all of these flavors together by simmering the pasta in the pasta water, which is what makes the multi-pot so great because when I strain out the pasta, I still have this water. It is filled with starch and all of that flavor from the pasta so that whenever I add it to make a sauce, that starch coats the pasta. I've got all of those flavors together. So I'm just going to use a ladle, which this ladle is about half a cup. I'm going to add some water to this pasta. So now I'm going to add all of the other ingredients so I can bring this together. I've got the bacon that I cooked at the very beginning and I've got the Parmesan cheese and some Romano cheese that's going to coat this pasta, make it really creamy. And of course, I've got some butter. The butter is going to combine with the water whenever I'm simmering this all together and make a beautiful, beautiful sauce. I like to add about a cup of water whenever I'm first building this together so that one, I can finish cooking the pasta and two, I can simmer everything together. You see, I've got these flavors from the onion, I've got these flavors from the garlic, from the bacon, from the broccoli, and I want every single bite of pasta to taste of all of those flavors. So simmering does just that. It combines, it marries all of those great flavors together so that you have that bacon and onion and garlic all in the, every bite and it makes it so, so delicious. Okay, so this has simmered for about two minutes, just long enough for the butter to melt, the cheese to melt, and all of those flavors to combine. Okay, so another easy win. You only taste five things, right? You taste sweet, you taste salty, sour, bitter, and savory. So if you're tasting a dish and something's missing, it's probably one of those five things. In this case, I need a little bit of sour, a little bit of brightness, because I've got a lot of cheese, I've got a lot of bacon, a lot of very rich flavors, and just a little bit of lemon is gonna brighten that up, make it all taste a little fresher and cleaner. So let's see how we did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so good. And so simple. It's just about building those flavors by sweating onions and garlic, by sauteing that broccoli, and by simmering it all together with that cheese and the bacon and the butter. Well, you see how simple this stuff is? Once you understand these core techniques of building flavor and what they do, you can choose when to do them. Well, I hope you like this video, and if you wanna keep learning more, hit the subscribe button. I am so excited about this pasta, and I am so excited to see you next time. Thanks, bye.